to thank you so much for you were amazing i was there yeah. so thank you again as you say donors i want to say thank you thank you for all that you've done for me my life has been affected greatly for the better to ccsa donors i would just like to say that you were amazing your prayers and support were critical in me becoming who I am today. You exemplify how to give graciously and love abundantly. You've been mentors and friends and confidants. So I truly thank you for everything that you have done for us. And I ask that you please continue to be servants and allow your words and your actions to encourage and advise us so that we can become better servants ourselves. Really, the main thing that brought me to Chowan was the CCSA. I had made it up in my mind that I wasn't going to come to Chowan because I didn't get the Leadership Scholars Scholarship. When I interviewed for the CCSA, the love of God and the presence of the Holy Spirit through everybody that interviewed me immediately changed my mind my life that someone else um, helped me, someone else provided for me when I thought that everything that I had and everything that I was hoping to achieve, I was going to have to give up. Even though we went on mission trips, we didn't go so much to go somewhere that God was not, but we went to go to where God was already at work really kind of put me into a position where I was able to serve. That experience has still shaped and formed me and was at the, the, the core of the seeds that God planted in my heart to be a missional person. Now I am working with a program called Mission Year. Mission Year is a nonprofit organization that um, partners with other nonprofit or organizations in urban areas. Our main focus is to love God and love people. God is currently keeping me sane during veterinary school because it comes with a whole new level of adversity. But he is reminding me all the time that he is a constant active presence in my life and that he has a purpose for me being here, that he's not finished with me yet, uh, that this is the next step in my spiritual journey. And I get to be part of a group called Christians of Veterinary Fellowship, and we work within the school community. I'm having prayer meetings and Bible studies, and in the future we'll have mission trip opportunities. And so right now my purpose is to be a light on campus, to exemplify Christ in my everyday actions, and to uh, witness and share his love and his joy and his hope. Right now, um, I am about to get married. Probably by the time that you will see this video, um, I will be a married man. So I would appreciate your prayers with that as I start my journey uh, in the married life. I'm super, super excited about it. And once again, thank you guys just so much um, for allowing me to, to just give a little message and just know that Chowan, as I'm repping right here, um, always has a special place in my heart. And I miss everybody, and I hope to see you guys soon. Um, I'm, right now, what God is doing in my life, um, He's helping me to, you know, to do well and to keep moving forward. Um, not only that, um, I'm expecting a child, me and my wife, on January 25th of 2016. Over the past few months, God has shown his love and his faithfulness to me by taking care of me in every situation. Which is great because now that I'm feeling completely in over my head and way out of my league in all my classes and coaching, he's shown me that I don't need to be afraid. That I don't need to be intimidated by people who are smarter than me or more experienced than me because I have him. And ultimately, he will be the strength in my weakness. When I'm sitting with clients and I'm in that room with them and they're bringing all these things that are really heavy. I can look at them through God's eyes and through the purpose that He's given me, but I also know that He's in that room with us and that He's waiting right there to take all of those things that have been given to me so that I don't have to bear that burden by myself. And it's just really reflective of the model that we had in CCSA where we had this whole group of people who were there to help us bear our burdens as we walked through our education. There's 
always somebody there supporting you and praying for you and helping you through whatever was going on in your life. And it really just set me up for everything that I'm doing now as a counselor. And the other benefit is that now that I have finished, I still get to participate being a Christian service scholar. I can now give back to and pour into everything that they've given me. Keep believing in us, uh, believe in the recipients. Um, it's much more than just uh, receiving your money. It is a grand investment in the future. But this is investing in to God's kingdom and what we present to the world, the world, you know, they will look at us, you know, and they will see Christ through us. So we stand on a, a grand stage. To the CCSA students, the current students right now, get to know your donors. Um, don't let it just be about the funds that they are providing, but have a relationship with them. Don't forget them. When you leave, don't forget them. Stay in contact and just continue to encourage them that they might be, the donors, that they will be able to continue to support other students. I would just like to say thank you to not just my donors, the Mills and the Ponds, but to all the CCSA donors. It's such a blessing for us as students to have all of you investing into our lives and just pouring into us and praying for us. And it just makes our experience at Chowan so much better to have you guys there. And we just really appreciate everything that you do for us. To the CCSA donors, I want to say thank you. If it weren't for you, I would not have been able to attend the university that changed my life. Beyond that, though, I would not have been able to meet all of the wonderful people who changed my perspective. And I wouldn't have been able to go on the mission trips that changed my heart. It's because of people like you that believe in us so wholeheartedly to support us financially that gives us all the confidence that we need on the mission field. So from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you so much for your kindness.